Wednesday practice just wrapping up here at Florida State. Welcome outside here to the practice fields, everyone. I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com. Wednesday marked the first chance we got to catch up with redshirt freshman quarterback Jameis Winston following the Pittsburgh victory last Monday evening. One thing Winston noted that while the numbers were great, the touchdowns were great, the reason he had success was the veterans at the skilled positions. Well, us having so many great players and so many players with so much potential and such athletic ability, I mean, it's just... It's fun just being out there with those guys and knowing those guys. You can trust those guys. Those guys got your back. So, I mean, it's just, like I said, I mean, it's, it's easy money to the point where those guys are going to fight for you. You're going to fight for them. And that's just where football comes together. When you got teammates and you're gelling, you got the, everything's clicking. For a freshman quarterback, it would be very easy for success to go to really anyone's head. But Jameis Winston is not most players, and he's keeping a level head. I'm just being myself. I'm going to be myself no matter what, even if I'm on the headlines of ESPN or if I'm on the front page of World Star Hip Hop. So, I mean, it's, I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to do what I have to do, and I'm going to prepare. I'm going to prepare because my team, they, they, they depended on me, and uh, I got to do what's right for them, and I can't have no big head. I got to stay grounded, and I got to stay focused and just keep moving forward. Switching now to the defensive side of the ball, the one thing the Wolfpack do possess is a high-powered offense. If you're a defensive end, making sure you're getting your keys is going to be important. Mario Edwards knows the importance of playing fundamentally sound football. It's definitely a challenge, you know, but we've been repping it so much in practice that we're starting to be, like, real good at it. And, you know, we're attacking. Me, personally, as in, we have dive responsibility, so we have nothing to worry about. Even if he bounces out, we have support on the outside, so... That's definitely a big, big challenge for us, but I think we can do it. Because you really only have to keep maybe one or two things, and you have one person. Um, also, you know, the hurry-up offense. So that's going to be a little bit uh, maybe different for us. But And then the quarterback is very mobile, so we have to definitely stay on our assignments and make sure that we do everything correct. Florida State hits the field again on Thursday afternoon for their final practice of Nevada Game Week. Remember, Seminole fans, kickoff scheduled for 3.30 p.m. inside Doak Campbell Stadium. Great seats are still available. Remember, Seminole fans, to help us pack Doak, make this a great environment for the first home game of 2013. Here on Wednesday afternoon at the practice field, I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com.